Hi, and welcome to this episode of John's Model Kit Review. Today I am looking at Airfix's 148 scale Curtis Tomahawk Mark II. And this is Airfix kit number A05133. There are markings in this kit for two different Tomahawks, and they're both in RAF service. Airfix released this kit a couple of years ago to pretty positive reviews and this is my first one that I'm building and I've noticed that the interior of this kit is really nice. And I've painted these and picked out the details. I've also given the kit a wash, even a little bit of mud on the floor there. As you can see the sidewall detail is really nice. This is the instrument panel. It's just done by painting the back and then putting the decal on. Here's a seat. I've added a set of the Edward Photo Etch seat belts, which I always like. I still need to give them a wash to help them match a patina on the rest of the interior. But I'm very happy with the level of detail in the interior of this kit. Parts fit on this kit is pretty decent. Uh, one of the areas to watch out for is the area around the nose guns and where the nose gun covers fit in and the upper engine cowling. This area can be a little bit fiddly and what I've noticed is the way the sprue attachment points are, it makes it very difficult to clean them up thoroughly. And so there just needs to be a lot of dry fitting and sanding. In looking at these photos closely, it looks like there's a couple of areas where I still need to tweak this kit before it's ready for final paint. A uh, little bit more sanding that needs to be done in the nose area of the kit. Everything else pretty much goes together very, very well. On any of the Tomahawk kits, there's little bumps on the underside of the wings and kind of in front of the wings where the landing gear are. Those also need maybe a little bit more attention on this particular kit. It's overall, it's looking good. I like the surface texture. It's kind of a hard, shiny plastic. It gives it a nice, shiny surface for paint. On the decals, as I said before, there are two options. The one I'm going to be doing is the Desert Camouflage Scheme that served in Libya. And it has that great P-40 shark mouth. Evidently, the British were the first to put the shark mouth on the P-40s. The decals themselves, I have used these decals before from Airfix. And I found that they are some of the best stock decals that you can get. I think they're really, really nice. Airfix also seems to have done their homework pretty well on these. I love the Airfix instructions. They're very clear. I love the color callouts. I love the painting guide on it. You get four views on the painting guide and it just helps. It helps you build the kit and not have questions about, okay, you know, I've only got one side of the plane. What does the other side look like? You don't have to interpret a whole lot. Here you can see some of the detail parts. I do things like drilling out gun barrels. I drill out the exhausts on the plane. So I've drilled these out. They're pretty tiny on the exhaust, and so it took a little bit of time, a little bit of patience and, and being careful with that, but those will come out nice. One interesting thing is the plane itself, if I compare it to other planes in this scale, it's very heavy. So the plastic is somewhat thick and it's somewhat heavy for the size of the kit. Just kind of an interesting aside there. You can see the nose area here and the radiators, and you can also see where I've drilled out the gun barrels. In conclusion, Overall, I think this is a really nice kit. It goes together pretty well. You do definitely have to take your time and dry fit things and be sure to clean all of the sprue attachment points off. Some of them are in awkward positions to clean up. The nose area of this kit in particular is somewhat fiddly. It's somewhat hard to get all the panel lines to line up and just to have it fit together without gaps and seams. In that respect, I would say this is more of a kit for somebody who's got a little bit of model building experience at least. I can't wait to see what this kit looks like when I'm completely finished with it and I've enjoyed the process so far. Is the Airfix Tomahawk 2 slash P40B kit the best early P40 and 148 scale? Well, I'm going to give this one a qualified yes. And the reason it's a qualified yes is there is significant room for improvement with this kit. The surface detailing on this kit is very sparse. There's almost no rivet detail. What is there is somewhat heavy handed. The panel lines are a little bit deep. They're not really that crisp. In some places they fade out a little bit. And the fit of the nose is really not great. It's currently the best there is but there's also definitely room for improvement. And even Trumpeter's P40, while it does have some inaccuracies, is going to be an easier build. Well, I'd love to know what you guys think. 
If any of you have built this kit previously and want to share your experience in the comment section below, please feel free to do so. As always, I hope you found this video entertaining and informative, and until next time, model on.